Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Tatiana and in today's video I will be showing you how to get this pink, purple, red, smoky, fun eye. So if you like to see how I did that, please keep on watching. <laughs> I'm going to start off first with um, priming my eyes with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lids and then blend it out with my beauty blunt. <laughs> my beauty sponge. And then we will dive right into the look. And this is the shade Light Pale, 120 Light Pale. I also use this for my face. And I also have the neutralizer one. So I really enjoy these concealers. I'm also going to set my eyelids. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Peach Powder. Um, it looks like this. <laughs> so I just put some in the lid. I'm just going to dip my sponge very lightly, tip off the excess, and then I'm just going to apply it to my crease, or my eyelids, so they do not crease. Okay, so now that they are primed and set, I'm going to dive right into the shadows. So I'm going to start off with my... Jeffree Star brush. This is the JS5. And I'm also going to go into the Morphe palette, the James Charles Morphe palette. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Rusted. I think that's the shade color. Yeah, Rusted. It's um it's like a an orange red. So I'm just going to tap that on my brush just a little bit this much, tap off the excess. And I'm just going to hit that in my crease. And we're just going to slightly blend that out, keeping it at the edge of the crease for now. And then we're going to slowly bring it in into the inner corner with the leftover product that we have. We're not picking up any new product right now and just do this in circular motions. We're going to create kind of a halo effect with this color. Picking up a little bit more in that shade and just tapping it at the edge and then moving it into the crease. Bringing it down into the inner corner Okay, now same thing for the other eye. Okay, so now that we have our desired crease shade, um, we're going to move into the deeper red. I think it's called You're Kidding. <laughs> yes, it's called You're Kidding. And these are very pigmented shadows, so you don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. So going in with that same brush that I used for my crease, I'm just gonna dip into a little bit of the You're Kidding tapping off the excess of course and then just I'm going to stamp on the outer the outer edge of my eye and then slowly work that in and blend everything together and it's better to start off with a little bit of shadow first so you can see how much color is actually on your brush and then when you apply it to your eye because you don't want to apply too much and then and it's it's easier to add more than to take away so it's always good to just start off with a little first get it going and then add if you need to okay now I'm gonna move to the other eye do the same thing I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend all those lines together make sure everything is clean <laughs> make sure everything is seamless so this is a brush from BH Cosmetics it's just a fluffy brush blending brush and we are going to first tame these baby hairs because looking a little wild <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna go in with some purple yeah I'm gonna go in with some purple Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the shade Single from the same palette. 
the James Charles and Morphe palette. It's a little bit darker than a lavender. I think it'd be really pretty. And I'm just going to put this right next to the shade You're Kidding. And we're going to hope and pray for the best. I'm just going to take this color and stamp it on the portion of my lid that I want it on first. And then I'm going to go in and blend everything. And I'm just taking the shade and just going up in a diagonal um, diagonal motion and just stamping it right next to your kidding. And now I'm going to take... So now that I have my desired shape in the color single, I'm going to take this tapered blending brush from Morphe. And it's the 139 brush. And I'm just going to blend out the crease where the, uh, where the color single and you're kidding me so that red and that purple I actually think I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of your kidding to really bring that fiery red to it so I'm gonna go back in with my Jeffree Star brush tap back into your kidding and then stamp away and to really get that color payoff Go in with that clean blending brush that we had and just blend those harsh lines out. It's easier to blend when you look back or when you tilt your head back. Okay, I'm going to cut the crease. And I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me concealer for this. This is in the shade 15 Light. I'm just going to apply some on the back of my hand. So I'm just going to dip my concealer brush. It's just a flat head brush. And I'm just going to cut the crease with it. So I'm going to give myself an exaggerated crease. So I'm just going to... Okay, so now that I have cut the crease to, am I satisfied with that? I think I am. Okay, so now that I've cut the crease, I'm going to go in with that same flathead brush that I used, and I'm going to go in with the shade called, I think it's Urban. It's from the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and it's a very vibrant purple. Let me see if I can show you a deep one actually it's this one right here and I'm going to go over that with or on top of the shade single which was this purple over here I'm just gonna tap that to make it more electric hey! same thing on the other eye okay so now that I have gone over the shade single with the shade Urban, I'm going to go over those two with the shade Artistry from the James Charles palette using the same flat head brush. And I'm using the brush with little strokes just to kind of draw in where that concealer was cut. To make it more appealing and we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye okay so now that we have the shade artistry on I'm gonna go in with the shade literally it's from the James Charles palette basically every shade that I used is from his palette with Morphe besides urban so I'm using that same flathead brush so I'm gonna put that right next to artistry
Now I'm going to take that same flathead brush and I'm going to go in with a white shade for the inner corner. I'm going to go in with Unbothered from the Perception Palette with Shayla and Colourpop. It's this one right here and it's pretty shimmery. So I'm just going to take that on my flathead brush, tap off the excess, and then just place that right in the inner corner and then we're going to blend Unbothered and Literally, literally together. I'm going to take Unbothered a little bit higher up in the crease just to give it that really nice highlight and that extra pop. Okay, now I'm going to take that same flathead brush one more time. I'm going to dip in one more time with Literally. And I'm just going to wiggle the two shades together. Okay, now I'm going to take that same uh, Jeffree Star brush that I was using and just deepen that crease. I'm not picking up any more product. So now I'm going to just apply some mascara and falsies off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back from putting on my lashes and my mascara, but I also smoked out the bottom lash line just in the shade, um, um, You're Kidding? Yeah, so I smoked out my bottom lash line with You're Kidding, and then I just applied the Makeup Forever pencil liner. <laughs> in the shade whatever black and now I think it's just lips and then the look is complete so I think I'm gonna go in with my half red lip liner from MAC so I'm just gonna line my lips I like to overline just a little bit but nothing too dramatic hey. so now that my lips are lined um, I'm going to go in with the shade, I think I'm going to go in with Viva Glam from MAC. Okay, so I don't know where my Viva Glam lipstick is, but we're just going to go in with Velvet Teddy from MAC. So just apply this all over the lips. And now I'm going to also go in with the shade Quickie from Colourpop and Shayla. This was from her first collection with the Perception Palette. And I'm just going to pop this right in the middle to give it a nice highlight. The look is finished. So this is... We're not done. We need a spray. I'm going to go in with my Prep and Prime, my little watermelon Fix Plus. So we're going to spray our face. It smells so good. All right, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, let me know what other looks you would like me to try and do for you guys. This is so pretty. We got some reds, we got some pinks, we have some purple with a neutral brown lip. I'm gonna go to the store to show this off. <laughs> So if you guys enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout for any future videos. Okay, so now that I have gone over the sage shingle, shingle, no. Okay, so now that I have gone over the sage, <laughs> so that you guys can't even see that. I'm also taking the 